Well, I've received my bearings from RC Bearing. The rear bearing is uh, an open bearing. The front bearing, the only ones they had in stock had shields on front and rear. What I'm going to do though is uh, remove one of the rear shields or one of the shields so that I can uh, have at least the rear part facing open. So all I've got here is a T pin. I might actually need something a little bit stronger than this though. Just to lift this bearing shield out. Okay, so there we go. So that's all there is to it. Remove that little shield, and now I've got an open rear, and this will be the front. This will be coming in like this, so that it keeps as much oil from coming out, but it actually will get any oil in there will allow these berries to get lubricated. So that's all you do is just pop that shield up. You just got to get in there with something sharp and deform it and lift it out. So the next thing I'm going to do here. So I'm going to bring my arbor press over and I'm going to put my UV glove on, heat this case up because the first bearing I want to put in is the front bearing. And I want to put the front bearing in first because I've got all these other pieces on the crankshaft that need to go on before I put the other bearing in and it's obviously going to be a lot easier to install this stuff from the rear like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my front bearing pressed in. I'm going to heat the case up and get that going. I'm going to start heating this up. I've got a temp gauge so I can shoot the temperature of it too. I heat the front bearing area up. Hopefully the aluminum will expand a little bit and make installing this bearing a bit easier. Temp is 162. I don't know if that's going to be warm enough to actually help it out or not, but let's see if that's going to be hot enough to help get this in. So I want to put this bearing in the shield part facing forward. That thing is quite warm, so I really want to try to make sure that gets on there straight. And our bearing is in. Okay, I'm going to get ready to install the rear bearing now. So I just kind of put a little bit of oil on this crankshaft. I'm going to take that collar off. And that collar actually provides a spacing between uh, allowing this to stop. It actually provides a spacing, proper spacing for this timing gear to line up here between that and the bearing. So that's what that little collar is for. This is finally cooled down enough. So I'm going to pull these guys off here. Oil up my bearing here real good. See how easily it slides on with the crankshaft. And now we'll put our pinion and our collar on. And now I'm just going to insert this in here. And what I'm going to do now is I have a small socket. I'm going to place this, I'm going to fixture it in my arbor press, I'm just going to use that socket as my drive to push this down into place. So let me get that jigged up real quick here. So again I'm going to heat this crankcase up a little bit here. Now I'm just pretty much focusing in on the middle section where the bearing is going to go in. I mean the whole aluminum will heat up but I'm really just trying to localize it to this area here.
front bearing didn't seem to need it to be too hot to go into place, so. I'll carefully drop that in place. A socket in here. And it looks like now my bearing is fully seated and it looks good. So now a reassembly of the engine can continue. Socket in here. And it looks like now my bearing is fully seated and it looks good. So